you got to keep on smiling, smiling through the rain. That's what it's like out in the springtime here in the West Coast, Dr. Ron Zokel, smiling in the rain. Mm-hmm. There's another song, Singing in the Rain. So people come to visit you down at BC Perio Dental Health and Implant Center. And uh, one of the things we've talked about on the show before, and I think we should talk about it again for that new listener who might be tuning in for the very first time, teeth in a day. Oh, that's a great topic. Is that true? Oh, yes, absolutely. You, no. <laughs> really? Tell me about it. I'm all ears. Well, teeth in a day, what it means is you you take a tooth out, or if there's no in- tooth there in the first place, you put an implant in, you put a tooth on the very same day. Now, you can do that for one implant and one tooth, or you can do that for a whole set of upper teeth or for a whole set of upper and lower teeth. So somebody, for example, who's in a set of dentures and they're finding it's becoming a pain in the butt, uh and they're finding it difficult to eat, finding it difficult for teeth to stay in place, uh, all of those things, if that's an issue, they can come in and we can actually put implants in and convert their denture to a system that's actually supported by the implants we just put in that day. And we do that in about half a day for, for that. So matter. you make sure that people have the right amount of teeth that they're supposed to have if possible? Yes. How many teeth are we supposed to have? Is it 30 Well, teeth? we have, we... <laughs> I don't know. Is that too many? <laughs> well, many people, some people have have uh, 32 teeth in their mouth. Most are actually functioning with 28. And it's 14 upper, 14 lower. Okay. 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 And, and when we give teeth in a day, sometimes we can put those 14 in upper and 14 in lower, or could be just 12 in, for example, on an upper or lower. That's a possibility as well. It depends on how much force you're generating and how we can distribute it with the amount of implants that we place. Would it be possible if somebody came in for teeth for a day, uh, for teeth for a day uh, in a day, and they needed to have more than one, but they could only have one done at a time? Is that possible to do one at a time and come back maybe down the road and have another one done? And uh, teeth in a day type of thing? I suppose it's, you could. It, it's doable, but why would you want to do it that way? Uh, yeah. You know, and... I think the better results are done when you do implants at it, all that you need at the time at one event and put teeth on them if you want for teeth in a day. But uh, I, I can't, you, technically you can do what you just said. It's you just could do it, impractical. but why? But why, yeah, right? exactly. Makes sense. Now, uh, our producer for the show is Dwayne Bishop. Now, did you have the, the pl- oh, pleasure, i got to be careful. Uh, did you work on Dwayne or was it Dr. Birdie? Uh, I'm not too sure that I can uh, divulge my, this is <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's confidential right. information. You gotcha. can ask Dwayne that, I'll ask though. Dwayne. So, uh, so yes. Dwayne, uh, which, which doctor was it? <laughs> this was, yes, Dr. Ron Zuckel. Dr. Ron Zuckel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell us t- uh, why you went to visit Dr. Ron Zuckel, other than you, you knew it was going to be a great place to go. Oh, yeah, and it was going to be great. Uh, you know, uh, coming here, did the show a couple of times, and I got interested, and I wanted to go check it out, and... Went down to the office, and it was a great place. Lovely people, lovely scenery. The view was the best. I took a little picture for myself. You're great. kind of skirting the vision. You had a problem with a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did want to check it out. But I did, yes, I did have a problem with a uh, with my wisdom tooth that had come out. It was giving me uh, some problems, and it was starting to move things around in there. And uh, So we checked it out, and we got the, the 3D x-ray. That was really cool, too. Uh, and yeah, then just checked it out, and we went over everything, and... Got it all out in the, the next visit. It was great. Now, Dr. Zokel, was Dwayne's uh, situation a little uh, more intricate than usual? I hear you, he had some things going on there. With your permission, Dwayne. <laughs> With yes. your permission. <laughs> yes, indeed, sir. Tell the world. <laughs> uh, Dwayne had an impact of wisdom, too. And one of the things that, that you do when you do an awful lot of surgery for implants, so you, you pretty much know how to handle these things as well. So every now and then we do advanced wisdom tooth extraction as well. Although that's not our forte, if you will. In Dwayne's case, it worked out valuable for him. And uh, we went in there, and his was just a little bit atypical and took a little bit more work than necess- uh, normal. But we, we managed to get it out with the least amount of bone loss. And he's here, and he's yapping, so he's, he's got to be okay. He's still laughing. 
<laughs> always laughing. At always laughing. So I, th- I, you know, actually, I thought he was kind of old to have wisdom teeth. I thought it was just like you know, younger people that had them, and then they had to come out. But do, do you see many adults that do have impacted wisdom? Teeth? Oh, sure. Really? Oh, yeah. It's an, we do encourage younger people to have them out because having them out when you're senior years, the bone is a little firmer, a little harder, and sometimes it's a little bit more of a challenge getting them out. So getting them out when you're young before the bone has heavily mineralized is awful lot easier. Years ago, I had a wisdom tooth taken out on West Broadway, not at your place, mm. because you were still like at school. So I go there, and and I and they say bring somebody with you, for obvious reasons. So I go upstairs, and they take my tooth out. They give me, I guess, they froze me up and gave me a shot of something, and I was in La La Land. Mm-hmm. So the nurse comes back after it's over, and she says, uh, "Oh, Tom," she says, uh, "We're taking out a wisdom tooth." I said, "Uh huh," and she says, "Well, it's out." I said, "Uh uh-uh. uh." And so she says, would you believe me if I go and get it in the cup? So she brought it back and had to show me in a cup. Now, it could have been somebody else's tooth for all I know, right? So I, I pass out again. So <laughs> so now it's time to leave. And she says, well, you know, goodbye. And I say, bye, because I'm still pretty gunned. And I get halfway down the hall, and she looks at me. She says, uh, your sweater? And I looked at it. I said, yes. And she just kept going. She says, would you like it? But uh, I, I go to visit you in your clinic, and people people don't respond like that anymore. They come out, they're happy, and uh, they're happy they've been to see you, and you've taken good care of them. Yeah, and we do have sedation available in the office. We often don't need it. Uh, people who are anxious are welcome to it. But we find that the majority of people who eventually have one or two rounds of treatment with us realize that their anxiety is so significantly lower than they thought it would be that we don't need sedation. What about if I have a fear of the dentist and yes. I go to see you? Is that something I should keep to myself or should I just tell you? Oh, no, tell us. Tell, tell us. Absolutely tell us. What if you're laughing what, at me? That's what, no, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us. It, it, this is what I'm referring to. Somebody who's anxious, and if you've had a bad experience at a dentist in the past, if we understand that, we can accommodate a little bit easier. We can offer some anti-anxiety medication that will bring you down into a a peaceful state while we treat you. There's a lot of things that we can do. And uh, the young ladies in the office will hold your hand just a little bit better. Oh, well, that's... Uh, Makes so it all worth Next while. time you come in, you say you're just incredibly anxious. There'll be somebody there taking good care of you. Just make sure we get down. Anxious hand-holding, <laughs> Dr. Zokos. Tuesday is a good time for that? Yeah, that's Tuesday's right. is a good day for hand-holding. So people come to see you. Uh, who do you have more of, men or women? I, I think women outnumber the men somewhat, mm-hmm. not by a massive margin, but they probably do. And I would suspect when uh, a hubby or a boyfriend comes in, it's probably because he's been dragged in by his lovely wife or girlfriend. That happens so often. I'll bet it does. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Uh, men get there on their own volition, but all too many are forced by somebody else who basically says, get your butt in there. Uh, you look good, but I don't like that way you're chip is or your brown tooth or something like that or get teeth in the front that you don't have so if there are any women that are listening to the show today and they're living with a guy or know a guy or seeing a guy that uh, needs some dental work they could call and make an appointment on his behalf absolutely and uh he'll you get his up. permission though and then you guys can do like mono and mono stuff when he gets there of course okay so uh ladies if you want to book an appointment for your husband or your boyfriend or both uh, <laughs> just kidding. BC Perio Dental Health at Implant Center in Vancouver. It's 501 777 West Broadway. That's 501 777 West Broadway. The telephone number is 604 872 0222. That's 604 872 0222. And in Coquitlam, it's number 250 1175 Johnson Street. Number 250 1175 Johnson Street. Coquitlam, the telephone number is 604 604- 936-8244, 604-936-8244. We have more on Boomer Life with Dr. Ron Zokel coming right up. Celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle, this is Boomer Life on CL 650.